fuck's sake. Yeah, okay, everybody's there. <laughs> Welcome back to another Alps of the Week. <laughs> Starting it off on a Friday, I have an audience. Um, we're about to all go to an event, so I'm going to run you through my outfit and then I'm sure all the girls will show you the outfit as well. Bloom is from Melissa Tilda. Top is from Tora Lily. I've got on some necklaces. When I recorded this, the collection hadn't dropped, so I can actually say, but I'm wearing my stamp necklace from my En Route Jewelry collab, which you can go shop in the link in the description of this video. It's also in my Instagram bio, so yeah. And I've got my Carvella boots with some long socks, and I'm gonna wear this vintage black coat. Nice. And I'm in my big bag era, so I've got on this big leather one that's my mum's. I also did bracelets over my top, courtesy of Abby. Abby, <laughs> do you want to show your outfit? Yeah. My boots are from Carol Vintage in Manchester. My tights, mummy got me them for Christmas from Urban Outfitters. My skirt is like a midi slip skirt that I got in the charity shop for 50p. This I got in the charity shop. Oh, yeah. This top comes all the way from Australia. It is Hyrak Studios. Then I got a few vintage antique brooches and my belt from a charity shop. Yeah. And then I'm going to wear it with this huge, like, fairy jacket and big fat fairy scarf that I bought the other day with her. Thrifting. All the deets, got my viv on, got my bling on. So currently I have Calvin Klein trousers on. The top actually has no label, but it's from Vintage Paradise. I've got a diesel suede jacket and a little Puma bag. Said a word, so I don't know who they know. They are just being a crazy girl. Oh right, wait, let me show your followers my bag. Oh like, no, not the whole of the century. Wait, that's this is cute, right? Wait, you've got a fucking three. Oh, you have really cool friends. <laughs> <laughs> I finished the whole because I thought we were getting bagels. I want a bagel. I want right, a bagel. So we just go yeah. get bagels. Um, it's right. Sam. Excuse me, what? <laughs> it's Saturday and we have just gone for like a girls um, hungover brunch at Norman's. It's like kind of Instagrammable. They basically just take like bog standard cafe fry ups and school dinner food vibes and put it into this restaurant. So this little zip up is from Vinted and I'm wearing one of my favorite kids tops also from Vinted. Got my Peachy and Mimi's on, they're soaked from the rain though. And I've got on my it? new Uggs. Can you believe I got sent Uggs? My favourite Miffy bag. This jacket's from New Lagoon. It's my outfit. Rubes, do you want to show you your outfit? My boyfriend's Spurs scarf on. <laughs> I'm a fake fan, I'm a fake fan. My jumper is from Past Rush. My jeans, <laughs> Vendemir Studio, but they're hey. JPG. Oh, and a trench. Your hair looks really good and like sleek. Thanks, it's really, really dirty. A week of filth. Today I'm doing something that I've been putting off for a really, really long time. If you remember my like transforming myself for 2023 video, and I finally got down my dreaded box of stuff that I need to resell. And this box just keeps getting bigger. Today's the day it's gonna happen. So I'm at home and I'm doing it. I'm wearing a very chill outfit. I'm in my comfies, so it motivates me um, to actually list this stuff. I'm wearing this jacket. This is from the seller Siki clothing. And I'm wearing these vintage Adidas um, trackies and my fake Uggs and I'm literally, I'm ready for business to finally clear out my wardrobe and that's where our sponsor comes in today, Finds. And I'm so happy that they approached me about sharing with them their new campaign because I've used Finds since they first came about. They're a bit of a new app and I think they are just the perfect 
place to go as both a buyer and a seller in the market right now and that is because they are a video marketplace for fashion and you probably would have known a lot of things that I love in my wardrobe that I got from Vines. One of my favourite at the moment being my infamous orange sporty trainers. You guys know I talk about my love for like sporty kitten heels and they are from Vines World. Like I'm telling you the stuff on there is so good but the amount of times I've gone to buy something from other secondhand retail websites or apps. The item looks so different from the picture you almost feel like you get catfished the material sits differently the sizing looks different and the great thing about vines is that everything is obviously done in video format you just get such more of a well-rounded view of the pieces which is what i'm excited about coming from a seller perspective of making sure that whoever buys this knows what they're getting it's going to be perfect for their wardrobe and it's something i can pass on that i used to love for something hopefully they're going to love soon and it also means i generally believe it's going to take me a lot less effort to list this stuff on vines than it would another site and i think that's why this box has been accumulating and sitting here collecting dust in my living room for like three weeks now is because the idea of like taking the pictures and having to get all the poses right make sure i'm seeing it get a picture of all the hanger it's too much it's too much for my camera roll it's too much for my brain but everything is done in one video clip that i'm gonna edit on CapCut. so i'm gonna take through the process today and this morning i also went through my wardrobe and fully looked at everything again and although i have so many memories attached to all of my clothes which i think is one of the reasons is why I just find it hard to get rid of things. It's time for them to move on to a new home. So these are the things I found today that I'm going to be listing. Obviously I have loads of stuff and I will show them all with you and you guys can go and shop them but firstly this I think it's time to say goodbye. This was one of my favourite corsets I ever got and I used to wear this so much back in uni all the time. Like, I have so many amazing memories connected to this top. It's amazing and it's this really nice vintage unique corset and somebody else deserves to wear this all the time and wear the crap out of it and now that I'm holding up I'm like don't sell it. Why does this always happen? This top, I actually wore this on my birthday, which was really nice. And I wore it with my bloomers and my long black boots. And I thought I was gonna get way more wear out of it than I did. So it's time for me to just finally pass it on to somebody. And obviously I wore it with my bloomers, but I think wearing it with, surprise, surprise, some low-waisted baggy jeans is exactly how I would style it now. Wearing that with maybe some black little kitten heels, like pointed toe ones. Which reminds me, let me show you because I have so many shoes that I'm going to list on finds. I wish these fit me guys. I bought them and they are too small for me. But them with some baggy low waisted jeans and then that amazing Anne Summers corset is such a good outfit. Also, another pair of shoes I'm listing. I'm listing so many. Firstly, guys I have to part with these. I'm just not giving them the love that they deserve. They are the most incredible vintage Avisu sandal like thong flip-flop heels if somebody doesn't buy these i'm gonna be sad because again they need to be worn i bought them for myself and they don't fit they're too big for me and they're basically a ballet pump in a little heel hm? oh, i loved this skirt so much but i already have a kill and i wear that one a lot and i'm trying to be really selective with what's in my wardrobe so again i think some kitten heels and some white free socks maybe i'd wear it with one of my ballet leotards which is one of my favorite ways to wear like longer skirts like this this skirt guys i had to say goodbye this was one of my favorite skirts a few summers ago i wore it so much the way it fits is perfect and i think as we get slowly into the warmer weather it's going to be such a good piece for somebody else to love and it's got elastic waist so you can wear it really nice and low-waisted in my opinion never too early to start thinking about summer i'm literally already thinking about bikinis that i want to buy for summer and i'm selling my incredible crochet skirt this was made by a small business and i just don't think it really fits me anymore so again she just deserves such a good home i think this periwinkle blue is the most stunning color i had so much fun wearing it a few summers ago when i wore it with like an all crochet look and they were all done by small businesses so that was just so nice and i just think somebody needs to rock this then i have a couple silk pieces this gorgeous silk one with brown polka dots it's got an asymmetric cut it's perfect for date night or girls nights out really good with a mini skirt and some long black boots i think it's stunning and same with this one it just doesn't fit me right and i thought i was gonna hem it but again because it's 100 silk i did not want to ruin changing up the silhouette of it and possibly ruining the fabric and these just need to go to some good home so that was just a small taster of what i'm going to be listing on finds today i mean 
guys, <laughs> look at this box. By the time this video is up, everything will already be listed and you can go and download the finds app in the description of this video. Go and find me on finds and maybe shop some of my stuff if any of it takes your fancy. And it'll be amazing to see you guys clear out your wardrobe as well and find some space for some new pieces. I'm so excited to finally do this. Thank you so much finds for sponsoring this section of the video. I love you guys. Today's Monday and I feel like I'm wearing a very classic go-to lazy but it's semi not too lazy looking outfit. Do you know what I mean? Wearing one of my fave long sleeves from Fine's World, my racer knit, you all know this. But like, this is such a classic. My Ed Hardy vintage trackies. I got these from Depop years ago and I'm gonna wear my new Uggs. Only thing about these trackies is they're a bit long. So I used to wear them with buffaloes and so they can drag a little bit and it's going to be raining today so that ain't good and I've had to pull them up really high. Anyway, I think I'm going to bring a beanie, another classic race worldwide, such a classic me outfit, <laughs> another race worldwide piece, uh, my rain jacket. Oh yeah, kind of goes with the green. First time I've worn this out to work as well and I managed to fit in a lot of work stuff. I'm going, oh, do I look a bit weird? Oh, you know what? I'm more in the mood for a rucksack. As you can imagine, I'm so comfy and today's a bit of like an admin day at work, so it would just be perfect, I think. Today is Saturday morning and Alex and I are gonna go for breakfast as Alex had a sleepover at mine last night and then we're gonna go and do bottomless brunch and I'm gonna have, then I'm going out with Ruben in the evening, so I'm gonna have like three different outfits for today. This is what I've gone for for brunch. I'm wearing my Nude Lagoon zip up and I'm wearing my favorite Menace Vintage jeans and my Uggs. I've been wearing this every day and last night I put on fluffy socks and it just changed the game. And I'm gonna wear my new favorite beanie. This came yesterday. This is from Love Thanks and I'm just so obsessed with it. It's definitely my favorite beanie. It'll be my, my like top three for sure, but right now it's my favorite beanie. So I wanna wear it today and then I'm gonna wear it in the evening, I think, again. I think the colors are gonna go really nicely with this outfit. I'm gonna wear my clinch jacket. The sun is shining, as you can see. My Sea Illustrate scarf. Brunch girls. Brunch girls. <laughs> 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 oh. We're back from brunch, and we're getting ready to go for a girls' bottomless brunch. 2.0. The theme for the bottomless brunch is everyone dressed in one colour. I'm obviously going in brown, Alex is obviously going in purple. Bam! I'm kind of one kind of hat. Bam! Oh, and this. Oh yeah, and a scarf. From Damp Um, I'm wearing my Clint's. These are from Depop. This is from Yasmin's brand and the look, but kind of wearing the asymmetric. This is from Vinted, my starfish. I think I'm gonna wear also from London Lookbook. Then this from Olive Simpson on Depop. The brown Smith Selfridge. And then my bag, hair chop. Hello. We're ready. This is gonna be mayhem. I hope you're ready. Oh my god, let's go. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Are you yeah. sorry? Oh, she went out, out. I know we Poppy, I feel like we'll have to do the video together. Oh, they look like. I was out until seven. Not good people, do not do that before I bought people. Yeah, she cancelled on our sleepover for what? For this. I did this, I did it. Oh. Oh. Hey, 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 hey,
fighter. She's the fighter. She's the Okay, somehow I'm home. Oh, oh okay. I have a go for sure. I'm going for some drinks with some other girls. I change into a more comfy outfit. Open product, menace vintage, and <laughs> my Uggs. My new favorite beanie from Love Thanks. I've gotten my jewelry from Enru for my collection. Guys, this is not a good advertisement. My seat illustrates, I'm just cozy. Cozy. And then my Kipling bag. Cute. The fact that I managed to come home from Soho and get presentable. I can't. I can't I'm going to start a YouTube channel. No, I'm not. Fuck, you so